Hey guys, today is going to be a first impression on the Chi Chi Super CC Cream with caviar extract and 30 skin conditioning agent rich antioxidant formula. I got it in the shade medium and it does contain SPF 30, skin rejuvenating, ultra moisturizing and color correcting. So what I'm going to do is just leave some for a few hours. It's currently 11 o'clock so I'll leave it on till around 3 or 4 o'clock and then I'll get back to you guys on how it's holding up. So using my Victoria's Secret Makeup Last Primer Set Makeup Spray, this stuff is amazing. I am only going to prime half of my face. So I'm just going to use this little metal thing to cover the other side. Oh that tastes gross. Oh, did not get that in your mouth, trust me, that's disgusting. Just using one pump to start off with, a little bit more on the other side, just as I would with any foundation really. I'm going to use my Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques and just start buffing that in. The blending isn't all that easy on the non-prime side. Definitely much easier on the prime side. It doesn't feel like a foundation at all, it just feels like a thick moisturiser. So this is only one pump, or one and a half pump, I kind of like split it between each side. I have to say, I like the finish on both sides. I feel like it blended out much easier on the prime side, but they look the same on either side, just easier to blend on this side. But I'm going to go in with a little bit more and see how um, buildable it is, if it's going to look cakey or if it's just going to look normal, so we'll see. I'm just going to go in with like half pump more. Just divide that on either side. Maybe just a little bit more, like a tiny dot. This will about equal to like two pumps. I would probably say it's light to medium. You wouldn't want to build it up too much because I'm starting to feel like it's getting a little bit cakey around my nose, but that's two pumps. If you want to screw the pump and a half, I think that's perfectly fine. The coverage is pretty natural but it just makes my skin look so healthy. I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup, leave it on for a few hours and then I'll get back to you guys and then we'll see together how it's holding up. Foundation looks exactly the same but I'm not going to lie, I'm not all that happy with it. Coverage isn't all that great. Blending was like decent, I mean I was able to obviously blend it out but it wasn't as easy as I thought it'd be. It's my first time using a CC cream and I don't know, I would probably use this under a foundation for like a better coverage or even mix it with one of my foundations like my Cover Effect Custom Cover Drops. I could do that. Yeah, that would actually work. It hasn't really done anything different, just looks the exact same. It hasn't faded anywhere, it hasn't oxidized, it hasn't gone patchy. Anything I've noticed is that it's kind of, kind of the tiniest amount caked up around my nose and a little bit in my chin. Like that's the only thing I've noticed. Besides that, it looks the exact same. Coverage is not full on, as I've mentioned, very like light to medium. So if you've got problem skin, this foundation is not for you. But if you've got naturally clear, but can break out here and there, then this foundation is perfect. All you've got to do is just like spot conceal any areas that you need to cover. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment below what you think and any other videos you would like to see just so I know what to make for you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.